Hi, I'm Teacher Edgar. We're working on Attentional Teaching Card M32. Which container holds more? The objective on this one is compares and measures. So what are we doing? We're going to get a large container and you're going to fill it with sand or dirt or my personal favorite, water. It's a lot of fun, but if you're going to use water, I recommend indoors. Get yourself a towel because I think there'll be some spilling. And the reason why is we're going to first just introduce the idea or the game of filling up a container, pouring it out, and then practice maybe putting it into another container. So you're transferring from a bigger container to a smaller container. And you'll notice I'm using a measuring cup. And this is going to come into play because eventually we're going to start asking them questions about, well, how many scoops will it take to fill up this container? And you can use some keyword manual signing, especially for our students that aren't yet ready to be verbally expressive. You can use signs like same, different, or more than, or less than. Any of those would be great phrases to use, and it'll give your children that are not yet ready to speak a way to communicate with you or answer your questions that you may ask them like, which one is bigger? Are they the same? Are they different? Which one has more? Which one has less? So what you can do then is, hmm, I wonder how many scoops it'll take to fill this container. Let's try it. And you may need to provide some hand over hand support and it doesn't need to be exact. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's filled up all the way or mostly. We're just going to be practicing counting another mathematics skill. One, Two, and just keep going until you count how many there are. And then you can start making predictions about, well, will it be the same or different if I use this smaller container or measuring cup and just do the same thing? You might want to write the numbers down, put them next to each other, and then you can really talk about it and see the results and let your child also see the results, really point it out to them. And, I'm sure they're going to pick up on the difference. It's going to take longer to fill up with a smaller container than a bigger container. So you're working on, again, just practicing using this measuring cup and pouring it, filling it up, and pouring it out, and then transferring it to another container. That alone is a skill in and of itself, and it can take some time to practice. That could be the game all by itself. And then if you get to it, you can start asking those questions of, well, how many scoops will it take? Let's count those scoops that we're putting in. You can sprinkle in those key words that we talked about earlier. You can look up some other words that you would like if you want to use manual signing for that. And that in and of itself, again, this is a really fulfilling game. It's a lot of fun. Kids love to play with water, with dirt, with sand. And again, if you don't want to use any of those, Get something like marbles or any other small substance that you won't need a towel for. The most important thing is to practice transferring from one to another, learning how to use those hands to scoop quantities of whatever you're using from one to the other, and talking about comparing. Is this one going to have more than the other? Is this one going to have less than the other? Are they the same? Are they different? And of course, have fun doing it. Thanks for watching.